Hello, I'm Adam Barrowley and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal of cryolite. Now, cryolite may just look like a good old white crystal, but hopefully in this video I'm going to show you why it is so amazing. Cryolite gets its name from the Greek word cryos, meaning frost, obviously because of its white colour, and was originally found in a large deposit in Greenland. Now, Greenland is where we get some really powerful crystals. Think of things such as tugdopite, neumite, usengite, and hackmanite. But small deposits have been found in places like Spain and Canada since then. But this is quite a rare crystal. And just because it's white, it should definitely not be dismissed. In this video, we're going to explore exactly how you can work with cryolite and where it's going to be an advantage to you. And I'm sure if you don't already have it in your collection, by the end of this video, you'll be looking for a bit of this beautiful stone that we all know as cryolite. One of my favourite ways to work with cryolite is to use it as a stone of surrender, of letting things go. In fact, this is a beautiful stone to help you let go of all the stresses, all the anxieties, all the worries, and all the pressures that you put on yourself so that you can actually allow the universe's help to flow through to you. Now, when we say letting go of different worries, maybe you're worrying about children or a family member or something that's happening at work, it doesn't mean that you stop caring about it. It's just about letting go of that emotional attachment that actually drags you down. When we're worried, when we're stressed, we know that we're not at our best. We're unbalanced, we're uncentered, we're ungrounded. And cryolite just allows you to let go of that aspect of it so that you can actually give your best to different situations. Now, some of the places I really love cryolite, it's a great crystal to have with you when you're really busy. It actually helps you let go of the time pressure and when you're feeling time mounting up or that you're running out of time. Really good if you're studying or anything like that. Another way it can be really great, and you know, I love cryolite even wearing it over the chest, can be really great if you feel that you always need to get other people's approval. If you feel that you're not good enough, that it's always good to get someone else to go, you've done a good job if you're always seeking, you know, more likes or more comments on social media or anything like that, this can be a really great stone as well. It's also really good if you have a bit of a tendency to try and fit, get other people to fit into your mould of how things could be. If you tend to be a bit controlling, and I've been accused of that, it really helps you just embrace and allow people who they want to be. In fact, it is said in, you know, when we look at metaphysical links and how they play out in the body, that sometimes Parkinson's disease can manifest from a really strong desire to want to control things and wanting to hold on to things. And cryolite just allows you to surrender again. So I have a bit of a nickname for cryolite. I call it the fuck it stone. And it doesn't mean that you don't care anymore. It just means that you let that all go. Because whenever we're holding on to anything really tightly, we're forcing things. And when we force things, we stop being open to the unlimited potential that the universe has. Cryolite will let you go, let go of that stress so you can come into balance, open up, and allow things to flow as the universe intended. Cryolite has some really interesting phenomena about it. As you can see, it's a white stone, but if I was to put this in water, it almost becomes translucent and you can hardly see it. It becomes one with the water. If I was to hold this over a candle flame, it would also melt as well. It has a low melting point, so it becomes one with the flames. This attribute is held within the energy of this crystal. It allows us to merge and become one with whatever that may be. Where would this be really great? Well, sometimes we get into situations where, again, we're trying to force things to be the way we want it. Sometimes we just have to surrender and allow that other people do things in different ways. Maybe you're moving to a different place, emerging yourself in a different culture, moving in with a different family, blending a family in that type of thing. You're not going to get it all your same way. How can you fit in? This crystal will allow you to. This is a really great one for anywhere where you feel, I'm worried about not fitting in, I'm worrying about being different. This will allow you to become one in that way. And the other beautiful thing is, it really helps to create a sense of homeliness and comfort wherever you may be. You know, when I come out in nature, I feel one with the, with the trees around me and the rocks around me and the water and the streams and all that type of thing. It allows me to feel a sense of comfort and homeliness that I'm not alone because there are other living organisms and other consciousness around me. If you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling disconnected from either the people around you or just your environment, Working with cryolite can teach you how to merge to become one. In becoming one, we're not letting go of who we are in ourselves and losing ourselves in other people. We're just being open to merging, to being a bit more 
transient in our flow. We know that the majority of us is not actually physical, it's actually energy. And it's allowing our energy to merge with others so that we can experience different things. In that way, we learn more, we gain more wisdom, and as a sentient being, we become wiser in the long run. And that's one of the cool things about cryolite. Being a white crystal, this is obviously a very spiritual crystal. It's going to be great to work with on full moons, but also great to work with, this is why I'm up here, <laughs> with the soul star chakra. So your crown chakra is just about what you're here to do in your divine mission. The soul star chakra, about 30 centimeters above that, connects you to all the consciousness of here on earth and in the universe. Connects you to your angels, to your guides, to star beings, all the different things that are out there, and to see the big picture of where the universe is unfolding. This one helps you to kind of perceive, this crystal will help you to perceive what your role is and what role you're here to play in that big divine circle of life that we all are trying to connect to and understand that greater meaning of life. In other words, it actually helps you to perceive what, you mu what must be done or what you need to do in this lifetime to achieve spiritual greatness in that type of way. The other thing is it stops you spiritually sabotaging yourself. We often know that we have something to achieve in this lifetime, or we have a bit of a faint idea, or we know what our gifts are, but then we sabotage and go, oh, I can't be bothered, or oh, I'm going to eat junk food and lose my energy, or I'm going to stay up late and play computer games, whatever that may be. This will really help to keep you in alignment with your most pure self. Just like it becomes clear and translucent in the water, or melts in the flame and becomes one with the divine energies of this planet, this will help you to stay in alignment with your divine energy as well. If you want a bit of a pairing, I love to pair cryolite with darwinite. Now, darwinite is a tektite, like moldavite or Libyan desert glass, that was formed when a meteor crashed into Tasmania here in Australia. And so it's this brown tektite, and that really helps you to powerfully, powerfully connect with Mother Earth and her consciousness. Pair that with cryolite, which connects you up to the heavens, and you've got this kind of heaven and earth connection. A really nice meditation is just to lay down on your back, out in nature is ideal, but even on your bed at home would be fine. Put this 30 centimeters above your feet, Darwinite 30 meters below your feet. Um, did I say feet or head there? 30 centimeters above your head, Darwinite 30 centimeters above your feet, and just relax and allow and see what comes to you in that way. Whenever you're doing any soul star chakra work, especially around the full moon, cryolite's going to be really great for helping you merge and understand what needs to be done next. Cryolite is definitely a high vibration crystal, quite rare and really, really powerful in its cleansing abilities. But when it's doing a lot of work, it's a really good idea to constantly cleanse it so that it's not taking on too much energy. There are different ways to cleanse each of your crystals, but my favorite way to cleanse cryolite is by placing it out under the full moon and bringing in that magical energy. You can also bring in gifts from the other kingdoms as well. So when I work with cryolite, I love to bring in wintergreen essential oil. Now, wintergreen essential oil is gifted from the leaves of a plant that grows in parts of Asia. Now, when we steam distill these leaves, we get this essential oil known as wintergreen, which is high in something called methyl salicylate. Now, what wintergreen is used for is relaxing our muscles, for helping us to surrender. And so metaphysically, what happens is wintergreen allows us to not be a control freak, to relax as well. So it pairs perfectly with cryolite. So basically, it's the fuck it crystal and the fuck it oil. Doesn't matter, just relax and allow it to be. Now you can also bring in guidance from the animal kingdom as well. And the sloth is a really great one to work with. There is power in taking our time, in being patient, in not forcing or rushing things. And that's exactly what sloth teaches us. So if you're pushing or feeling rushed or, you know, that pressure of getting things done, fuck it, let's relax. Tune into the energy of sloth, slow down and know that you can still be successful by just allowing things to happen rather than shoving or forcing things to happen as well. Now, astrologically, this really resonates beautifully with Neptune. Neptune has that very kind of artist, go with the flow, magical, oceanic kind of energy. And so Neptune is a really great one to tune into when you're working with cryolite. Neptune doesn't particularly rule the day, but it has a resonance with Venus, and Venus rules Friday. So Friday is going to be your best day to work with your cryolite and do any of those meditations like the Darwinite and cryolite meditation, or maybe send, setting an intention to release something that you've been holding on for a long time, maybe an emotional attachment to something happening in a certain way. I'd love to know, have you got cryolite in your collection or have I maybe wet your appetite? 
if you have been working with this rare crystal, please leave a comment in the section below and let us know exactly what you've discovered by working with cryolite. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barillet. Blessed be.